NBA, IBF, Ring Magazine, Bantamweight Championships of the World, Jason Mayhem Maloney! Naoya Monster in a Look, touch him up, touch him up. The veteran referee, Kenny Bayless, with the up. Maloney, the number one WBO contender and the current WBC at 118 pounds. And as we mentioned, in a way, the number three pound for pound fighter, according to. After Andrew lost his title to Joshua Franco and Franco and Andrew will fight in the arena October in the middle of November for the Maloney brothers to go home to Australia with two rounds so when you do the math you would think in a way is going to win this fight Jason one thing that he has to mentally overcome is he went to he feels the timing is right right now the fight against Rodriguez for Maloney was two years ago That's for the, the IBF time and contained Noya Inoue in the fighter meetings yesterday saying I'm going to wait to see what Maloney beside he went through a war with Donaire and he realized that he had metal that he did not have before orbital bone and fractured his uh, nose neither of which required surgery but to go to the body more often than he does the face and head. there's a nice left hook to finish the first their first round from Inoue who was just trying to feel out his opponent yeah, to kind of get his legs back under him to figure out the strategy that Maloney was going to throw at him And so not that's what they both did and Maloney said he was expecting that going into this fight He wanted to do with the adrenaline rush of being in front of a sold-out uh, Stadium in Japan in his hometown Interesting specifically so far in this fight with anyway He's not as on the full 12 rounds twice including his last fight against Nonito Denaire and on the midsection of Maloney row all by way of knockout all four fights were seven rounds or less as you see in a way lunging on the inside and rodriguez and donaire but when he was in the fighter meetings yesterday with andre ward another winner special place in the hearts and minds and fandom of a lot of these younger fighters and uh sometimes listen to these and so to see andre ward uh, sitting there to nobu ukashima who's there translating goes holy crap that's andre ward Need <laughs> right hand by anyway really putting his power behind it opening up here in the second stanza yeah you read these distance well so right on cue trainer to be the right orbital bone of in a way which was the one that was injured and then times and when a fighter has that kind of power they feel they can take anyone out at any time so he wants to find those way we talk a lot about his power and his offensive ability but also very good defensively and so far for maloney talks about uh, talks to the elusiveness when he tries to go back to the body in a way responds with a left hook and now right up agree a lot more shots are connecting maloney is open up brown's been able to get inside with any consistency on in a way which was the game plan for and the new uh, jason maloney has yet now through two and a half maloney coming into this one yeah the monster is hunting right now he's putting maloney on his back foot and tracking him down charging at him and essentially controlling the pace and tempo of this fight anyways doing whatever he pleases at this point but there we go with maloney with a nice counter right so maloney has to find what it is and get there and take it consider the wba super world champion at the bantamweight division the uh waiting for them to have some belts for boxing media <laughs> i'd like to get my hands on them <laughs> would you be the inner of the rest the Duke mentioned in a way looking very comfortable settling in here in the third round Seeing some redness around the eyes of Mal you see these punches right here. Everything is there for in a way for the taking. He's loading up on his punches. He's not res real estate to work with. In a way, is cutting the ring off every time he pleases. And Maloney, yeah, Maloney does not have much when he's just working with whatever he can get, which is not much at this moment. And if you're Maloney, you, know, you don't want to be forced into being the counterpuncher. The whole... 
counter punch and it's just not working. Yeah, it, it's clear that uh, Inoue's power has Malone. The idea coming into this fight was trying to bully Inoue on the inside. And right now, Maloney has been forced to just react. And Straight right hand, combinations. Everything really working for Inoue right now. And he's showing his superior class. But there we go. Counter jab as Maloney's attention. And Maloney's afraid to take some risks right now by trying to get inside. Inoue has the advantage. And there we saw again. Bunches, they say. Watch your head. Sharp. In a way, respect it. Well, I think maybe he does, but it's got to come in two, three, four punch combinations. It can't just come. Having some moments, but nothing substantial is really landing to get these one off spurts like it does there with the jab. That's a good jab, but you got to follow it up with something and stand right. There's no way Maloney's going to win this fight with the jab because he needs to do a lot more. Um, Next eight rounds, if it goes that far, can he figure out something to go with it? In a way, has commanded the center of the ring. Good three-punch combination, nearly landing that overhand right. But a flurry in the ah! final ten. He was getting adjusted to the pace of the fight. He's in his groove right now. Yeah. Maloney collect, connects with a left hand that forces Inouye to curl up on the ropes. Starts for Inouye. We are in the fifth right now. He's got to let his hands go. You, you talked about it. You used the word risk. Might come to that if Maloney doesn't go to a plan B. He was seeing double after the second round. Imagine going through a... Oh, big right comes in from Inouye. Maloney looked momentarily hurt right there. That five rounds into his second career fight in the United States. Has to go for a knockout. Ooh. You saw that head faint there. That was masterful. And a knockdown. A counter left from Inouye puts Maloney. The time left into the round. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Here comes the monster. Another left hand. Maloney backpedaling. Sixth round. Left hook stops Maloney in his track once again. Left hand to slow down in a way for a moment by Maloney, but again, still a minute 35 to go here in this. Good left for some of these. Check hooks and 06 and around that has already featured a knockdown for Inouye. Maloney opened himself up on the jab and bang. There's that check right on the button. Imagine if he put his type of potential to come into the United States and create a legacy for himself. And this is only the first. To be 27 years old and already have 14 world title fights is impressive. Playing ESPN cards. This is uh, something that is a fed paired with Terrence Crawford and a Canelo Alvarez. In a way, number three on the ESPN pound for pound list. Letting Maloney charge him for the first 90 seconds of the round. Perhaps the closest round Maloney has come to winning. Uh, the pressure as much here in the seventh as he was in the previous couple rounds. Certainly a couple of miles off the fastball off in this round. Left, perhaps in a way has a, another trick in his sleeve. He definitely seems to be toying with Maloney. Maloney's power because he lunges in with some of his shots too. So whatever Maloney has connected with so far. Get in there with the jab, easier said than done. Oh, and another knockdown in the final 10 seconds. In his top rank, he has this. And Maloney is done. To the head. Knockout performance. Just what was in store for his script. With a monstrous right hand. Buckling the knees. And end. Mm. Maloney's neck shifts there at a 90 degree angle. What a not able to get up. So Maloney now 0-2 in his opportunities. Second knockdown in the fight. Second knockdown in as many rounds. And this time, Maloney.
And you have to hope Maloney's okay because the way he fell down. Seems to have his wits about him. Smiles and hugs at Maloney. Uh. No! Oh, yeah. The 